Hey guys, Space Monkeys here again with a new video. This time I've created a considerably smaller combination lock design than my last one. Uh, this one is both linearly expandable and, as you can see over here, stackable, uh, which is really nice because if you can stack them, that means it's really easy to have multiple combination locks for a single button input. Um, another thing too is that you'll notice each input line is three apart, which means if you have them stacked and you have, uh, let's just pretend that we have, oh, one sec. Let's just pretend that we've got uh, maybe like an eight button combination lock and all of the wires are leading from like going this way. You could place uh, a whole nother set stacked right here that are uh, beveled so that um, here's the inputs for these. You just have to have the inputs along this line. So it's right in between. That way you could have, I mean, as much as you can stack and bevel and it would still fit within a relatively small amount of area so that's really nice that this th this design allows for multiple combinations uh, within a relatively small area um, so I just want to show you guys that this works as well here I've got my reset line it resets everything and then oh, I'm gonna hit the first button and then come over here and show you how this works so what I've got here is a really, really small RS nor latch. This is the smallest I could find. And so right now this first one's activated. And you can see that this torch right here, when it's on, it sends a signal into this block right here. And right now it's off, although it's still sending a signal in, but that's because this repeater is powering this block, so it's actually not sending a signal in, the signal's coming out. And so anyways, how this works is if I go over now and hit this second button, the second button is going to activate, although if I hit the third button, it's not going to input the third button, and then the whole system resets, and the way I have the system reset is that on the output of the RS nor latch for the third button, it's connected to a, uh, I believe it's an OR gate, that's connected to the input of the fourth, and so when you try to input the fourth button without having the third button already active, it resets the whole system. Again, it's the same concept as my last version, it's just smaller now. So if you input the first, second, third, and fourth, then you will get this outputting. And the way this output works, it's pretty simple. It's just all of these RS nor latches are connected to the same line, and they all power the line. So the only way to have the line turn off would be to have every single RS nor latch turned off and uh, that keeps people from uh, kind of breaking the system, being able to activate the last RS nor latch uh, without activating any of these. So that's pretty much all for now, so thanks for watching guys. Peace.